keep your eyes up along there. Guess I'm going down this way. Oh. YouTube. Welcome back to Scout Star MTB. Today I'm at one of my favourite places to ride, Revolution Bike Park, but with a bit of a twist. It's their first weekend reopening since lockdown and a few things have changed. This weekend they're doing a bit of testing, making sure the park runs right, so there's no actual uplifts here at all this, this weekend. Uh, it's a push-up day, which suits me pretty well because I'm on the e-bike, so hopefully I should be able to smash out as many if not more laps than the eight that I normally do on an uplift day. Weather's meant to be pretty decent today as well but it's kind of misty and a little gloomy this morning but hopefully it, it dries out because Revo on a dry day is a fucking sick day like so here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do today. Obviously in my head, every time I come here, it's just full laps, top to bottom. But since it's a push-up day, nice. And people are just sessioning sections, so I don't even know what to do now. I think I might stick with the full runs. That way I can compare it to a normal uplift day. So we've got a couple of trails here at Rev, got the free ride line, I normally like to start off on that one. Your far side, poop line, and the main line here. Alright, so I'm going to start on the trail that I start with every single time I come to Rev. Oh my god, I'm not used to lifting a heavy e-bike though, that was heavy. Turn the climb switch off. So yeah, I normally start on free ride, skank it down, get a feel for the bike, <coughs> trail conditions, whatnot. So let's do this. Oh, I've missed Revo. Oh, you are chewed up.
Oh, I missed Ravo. Yeah! Maybe do with a little bit more air pressure. I've not been down here for a while. Drop them back in. I like these little swoopy berms. Real tight up the top though. Oh, my flow is terrible right now. First run of the day. Super sketchy. Oh, they seem much tighter than they used to. Yeah, I need more air pressure. Whoa, tires are scrubbing away. so rusty you know not been to a bike park for so long not ridden actual gnarly trails in so long oh coming in hot keep your eyes up along here it's much rougher than it used to be. Whew. Okay, straight back in. Not been down here for a while. Guess I'm going down right this way. Oh, you just gotta feed the bike and hope it goes the way you want it to go. You know what, it might help if I take that off. Stopped in a terrible place as well. There we go. this way for a... Oh, don't remember coming this way. I don't remember this truck. Oh, coming in hot. Oh, they've totally redone this. Totally redone it. Deep shoot. Everything's so much more chewed up, and the ruts are so deeper. 
than they used to be. Dropping in on Reddy Mc Red Face. Or not. Do you know what? What is going on with me? Well, they've changed everything. It's all new. It's all weird. It's all different. But kind of the same. Whoa, bridge. Definitely new. Whoa, this is all new. Smoothened out a bit. Super overgrown. Taking a trip down poo pipe, which I've not been down in many years, so I can't even remember where I'm going. I just know it's this way. <laughs> Glad it's dry. Oh, narrowly through there. Getting a bit tighter. Up and over. You know what? I've never been down here. So I might continue with the poo pipe, but I've never done that. So I might. Hmm. Let's just do poo pipe in it. Pretty much haven't done either. ghetto for years that used to be my favorite track that absolutely used to be my total favorite but it's so chewed up and so rough that I kind of fell out of love with it let's try it out let's see what the world of madness is saying nowadays Oh, not too bad. Nothing is the same as what I remember. Totally different track. I used to go bloody right. Oh man. Oh. Fuck that cord. Fuck man, I used to absolutely cane it down there. 
bang 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 now them drops are huge can't believe how much has been chewed up just on this line over the years and there's me like a noob just skanking it down the far side trail <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna peel off and maybe go do the red run middle to lower oh that was heavy oh this is much more chewed up than I've ever seen bobcat maybe never ever been down there lots of tracks I've not actually done before so that takes you down to the far side that's like the gnarliest steepest trail going let's try it out rolling into ginger bobcat Didn't have the momentum for that. And I don't have the momentum for that. I think there's a few of them little gap corners. Oh man. Just shows you how long since I've ridden downhill. How rusty I am. How mm. rust though. Oh, drop. Literally off the and you'd just be down there. I would anyway. This vlog is gonna be ruined by my terrible skill. Never been this way for years. Oh, my back end is skipping about everywhere. What the fuck? Yeah, not having a great time. Just to prove 
I'm insanely steep this uplift track is I'm on my fifth lap and I've got one bar left one bar that's how insanely steep and long this climb is Definitely thought I was gonna hit like at least my eight that I normally average on an uplift day. But uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get another one out of this. I'm only like a, a quarter of the way into this climb now. Got no facilities. Ah, oh, my bike has died already. I haven't even made it up the climb. No way. No way. So yeah, so the battery's pretty much died, dropped into eco, wouldn't let me go any higher. Which only got me like a quarter of the way up. And I'm pretty much at the halfway point now using walk mode. So the bike's just pulling itself, using the last little bit of power. And then it looks like my day's done. So I'm probably gonna drop in from here. Which is like halfway point of the free ride line. I'm sure I've got my climb switch on. Yup, climb switch was on the whole time. Dropping into the lower half of the free ride. Definitely longer than my Capra. Noticing it on them tight turns. Love that little swoopy bit then. Just finished up there at a sick little day at Revo doing a push up day. Uh, gotta say, you really underestimate just how steep that uplift road is. Like when you're in the Land Rover going up with your bike and that, like it's proper, you're not even paying attention to how steep it is, but you pedal in it and it's real tough. Even with the e bike, it was real hard. So I was aiming to average, if not beat, my usual eight runs in a day. I only managed five and like on that last run then the battery died like a quarter of the way up or it went into eco mode and wouldn't let me go any higher <clears throat> and then uh, so I put it in walk mode and I managed to make the bike drag itself up to the halfway point and then halfway down so a little disappointed that it was only getting five runs in but 
when you consider how steep and how long that uplift track is I'm not really surprised to be fair like um, so it's been a good day didn't have many well didn't have any incidents apart from being super rusty like all my days it just shows how long it's been since I've ridden downhill that I am so sketchy like jumps were bucking me and I'm screwing up in turns and everything like it was crazy how just Ugh, how weird I just felt on the bike like even though I love riding and this is my favorite place to ride It's been a pretty decent day. So if you're at Revo definitely book yourself on the uplift because they are the guys to come to Best facility with the best trails in my opinion Anyway, if you like what you've seen smash that like button hit subscribe and don't forget to check out the insta Scoustar MTB. Peace